Sing 2016. Woo! My name is Grego. We're here in Davenport, Iowa. It's my second time here, second time for Pokemon Game Show. Are we ready to play? Yeah! We'll hear more of you later. <laughs> Let's play the game. In order to do that, we have to introduce our four players who made their way on the show. Starting with the first player, it's Jacob. Let's welcome Jacob to Pokemon Game Show. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Um, I Man, a few words. I like that. <laughs> Alicia, who's your favorite Pokemon? Charizard. Charizard. All right. Well, funny. I have one up here. It's not going to be the first question, though. But there it is. Uh, well, welcome and best of luck to you. Mr. Mike is here. Let's welcome him. Almost before the show asked his name, I thought he said Mr. Mime there for a second. I'm like, okay, dude. It's all you. Tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Mr. Mike. Uh, I'm a, what was it? This is my fourth con. And uh, like cosplaying, came here today with Myth Lord Death, but. We're all set to go. All right. Well, best of luck to you. Ryuji is here. Let's welcome Ryuji to the Pokemon Game Show. <laughs> and what do we need about to, what do we need to know about you, sir? Apart from the fact that I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Ryuji. Um, this is my part. I'm mean, my third time at the con, and my favorite Pokemon of all time, since the movie Pokemon 3000, Charizard of the Way. All right. So we got two for Team Charizard. Speaking of teams. Oh no. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, we're, let, all right, we'll, we'll wait until the first commercial break before we decide that. We'll come back from that. Welcome, Ryuja. Al is here on Pokemon Game Show. Hi, Al. Name's Al, and favorite Pokemon is... Well, actually, you can have a tie between Umbreon and Espeon. All right, you like your evolution, so do I. Okay, so for those of you who have never seen this game before, we play several different games on our big game board over here. Our first one today is called Move It On Up. <laughs> To the east side. Finally got a piece of the pie. No. Um, in order to get control of our game, though, our players are going to buzz in and answer a series of trivia questions that all come from this little Pokedex right here. Um, remember, in Gen, round one is Gen 1 only, so if I'm looking for a specific Pokemon, it's going to be a Gen 1, all right? There are also going to be some questions where I ask you to name any Pokemon that fits a particular criteria. It'll be from any Gen you want. Buzz in and just let me know, all right? Whoever gets control of the board is going to get to play our game for the first time. Let's find out who that is first. Fingers on buzzers, players. Buzz in when you can name this ice type. They have gentle hearts. Because they rarely fight, many have been caught. Their number has dwindled. Players, this is a dual type Pokemon, water and ice. And Jacob says... Seal. Is incorrect. You're out for the rest of it. I'll continue. It is the only Pokemon in its evolutionary chain. It is the transport Pokemon. Mr. Mike. Lapius? I'll take it. Lapras is, yeah, it's yes. right. Yes, I'll take oh, that as a correct answer. A okay. Mr. Mike, you have control of our board. This game is called <clears throat> Moving On Up. Here's how it works. You're going to open one of those 30 numbered doors. There's going to be a type there, a Pokemon type. Then you're going to open another door. And whatever type you unveiled, if it's super effective against the next one you unveiled, you will score a point. If it's not, it will end your turn, and you guys are going to need to remember what is up there, okay? Mr. Mike, please select a number. Let's go lucky number four. Lucky number four, all right? You got... Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, Mr. Mike, there's only one other dragon on the board. Good luck finding it. <laughs> Gut says 26. Gut says 26. No, darn. Oh, no. All right, now remember where you saw both of those. I'm going to close those doors, and we're going to continue on. All right, players, get your fingers on your buzzers and get ready. Buzz in and name any Pokemon that is a dual type where one of the types is water. Ryuta. Blastoise. That's a straight water type, sorry. Jacob. Cloyster. Cloyster is a correct answer. Okay, you got control. Where do you want to, I know where you don't want to start. Where do you want to start? 16. 16. We need something that ground is super effective against. That's a, that's a good one. There's a lot there. Let's see if you found one. Ground is, oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. 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 all right, we'll close both of those. those. 
Remember where you're seeing these things, players? Now, I am going to spell the name of a Gen 1 Pokemon backwards. Oh boy. Buzz in when you can name it. Here we go. N-A-H-K-S. Dan Al says is the right answer. Good. Now, audience, I'm not hearing anything from you yet. Let's keep it that way. Please don't yell out any numbers or any answers. All right, Al, you've seen some information. Do you have enough to go with? Pick a number. Twelve. Twelve? <laughs> Looking for something that Rock is super effective against? Eight. Number eight. I think you've got a point. You do. Rock is super effective against flying. Good job. Wow. There you go. Now, now here's the deal. You can continue your turn if you wish and score a second point. You need three to be guaranteed through to the next round. What's the catch? <laughs> if you find something that flying is not super effective against, we close every door. So I'll keep my point. You'll keep your point. All right, you got it. So one point for you, and there we go, and there you go. Incidentally, if time runs out for this round, we'll look at the scores at that point. But if you score three, you're automatically through. All right, fingers on buzzers, players. We continue on. Buzz in when you can name this grass type. A mushroom grown larger than Al. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, nope. I'll start over. A mushroom grown larger than the host's Wait, body. Can, and there you go, Mr. Mike. Gloom? Nope. I'll continue. Host's body controls. <laughs> it scatters poisonous spores. And Ryuta says, Parasects? Yes, that is correct. Oh. All right, yeah. Parasect. All right. Where would you like to begin, sir? My lucky number, 18. 18. We want to know something that Psychic is super effective against. Um, let's go with 20. Number 20. Psychic is not super effective against fire, but now we've started to see some things about some things. All right, we move on. Players, fingers on buzzers and buzz in when you can name any Pokemon whatsoever whose name ends with the letter G. Al? Nido King. Nido King is a correct answer. Of course it is. All right, where are you going, sir? How's your memory today? 16. 16. You need something that ground is 20. super effective against, and there you go with 20. Yes, ground is super effective against fire. You are moving on up, sir. Now, do you want to risk your second point? <laughs> nope. Okay, I will score that. I will close those doors, and we will put you up to two points. One more, and you're guaranteed into the next round. So, here we go. Fingers on buzzers, players, as I spell the name of a Gen 1 Pokemon backwards again. Here we go. Why... E, S, N, A, Mr. Mike? Chansey. Correct. Chansey is what oh, I was spelling oh, there. Good job. All right, Mr. Mike, where to? Uh, let's go number 30. Number 30. We need something that steel is super effective against. Um, let's go 21. 21? Mm, steel is not super effective against ghost. I'm glad you didn't pick ghost first. Uh, all right, here we go. Moving on, players. Put those in when you can name this ice type. It wiggles its hips as it walks. It can cause people to dance in you. And Ryuta says, Jinx is the right answer. Okay, where to, sir? Uh, let's go with four. Four. We need something that dragon is super effective oh, against. We've been God. there. Remember, there's one other dragon on the board. Good luck. I'm going to go with my gut feeling here and go with 23. 23? Come on, 23. Nope. That's the <laughs> other. Uh-oh. We've revealed something. Okay. Let's move on. Players, fingers on buzzers. This time I want you to buzz in and name any Pokemon that you can think of whose name both begins and ends with a vowel. Mr. Mike. Arcanine? Yep, that's right. It's a silent E, but it's still there. Uh, are you going to score a point? I hope so. <laughs> uh, let's go number one. Okay. Something that fairy is super effective against. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> let's go with all over. Oh. Yeah, I know. Uh, 23. Okay. <sighs> I don't think it's right. Mm -hmm. 
no, doesn't work, sorry. That's a break for everyone else. As I spell another Gen 1 Pokemon backwards. Incidentally, players, when you hear this sound three times in succession, that means we are approaching the end of the round. So keep that in mind. We have a lot of time for this game show, a lot of editing to do in the video probably, but that's okay. Here we go. L, E, E, Jacob? Seal. S, seal is correct. Good job. Where to? One. And? Four. And there you go. Oh, that's gonna be your okay. first and point. He screwed, <laughs> screwed anyone who gets the other dragon over. Now, no. yeah, you will. Uh, now, <laughs> Jacob, I have a real simple question to ask you. Do you want to risk that point? No. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bank the point. You're now in second place. Mr. Mike Ryuza, you need to get on the board here. Here we go. Players buzz in this time when you can name this water type. It prefers beautiful shores. With cells similar to water molecules, it could melt in water. And Al says... Vaporeon. Vaporeon is correct. Now you can go through to the next round if you make one more match. Where 26. to? What's that? 26. 26. He remembers something. There's dark. 18. 15? 18. 18, you said. And I think that's going to... No, that, yeah, there you go. You are through the next round. Give it up to her. I guess you don't want to give up that point. So I don't think we so. We will just flip it over, close those doors. Only two players will join you. And we will play on. Again, when you hear that sound effect, we are going to call the round nearly done. All right, here we go, players. Fingers on buzzers. Buzz in when you can name any Pokemon who is weak against electric. Ryuta? Squirtle. Is very weak against electric. Yes, there you go. Um, where would you like to go? We need to get on the board. Let's go with six. Number six. Looking for something that water is super effective against. Oh, great Um, 30. 30? Water, steel, no, not such. Moving on. Players, I will spell another Gen 1 Pokemon backwards. Some of you are good at this one. Here we go. Get ready. R, A, M, G. Jacob? Magmar. Is what we were after. Will you score your second point? 21. 21. Mm -hmm. Ghost? 23. There you go, and the other ghost. That's going to do it. You are. Uh, you have two points. Good job. All right. So, we close. All right, do you want to risk that? Keep it. All right, there you go. That sound means time is running out. We are now in sudden death. Three questions remain in this round, and then we'll take a look at the scores. Okay. Uh, well, Jacob's in this, too. He can go through the next round, too. So, here we go. <laughs> Fingers on buzzers, players. And buzz in when you can name this normal type. A rare Pokemon that adapts to harsh environments by taking on different evolutionary, Mr. Mike. Ditto. Incorrect. Different, remember what I told you, you gotta wait for that. Different evolutionary forms. And now Ryuta's in. Eevee. Is the right answer. Okay, yeah. Remember what I told you before the show, before you hear that sound effect, I haven't cleared them out yet. So, Ryuta, go ahead. Thirteen. Thirteen. Grass. Six. I think you got a point there. You do have a point. All right. Now, do you want to risk that point with only two questions left in the round? Heck no. No. Okay. Let's score you there. All right. I just know. Okay. Mr. Mike, you're now in danger with only two questions left in the round. Everyone else is ahead of you. Buzz in, players, and name any Pokemon that you can think of whose name ends with the letter X. Ryuta. Jinx. That's one. Yes, good. Now, here's the deal. Ryuta, if you score this, Mr. Mike must get the next question correct, and he has to risk his point if he scores one in order to stay in the game. If you fail, then Mr. Mike can tie you or possibly beat you with the next one. So where do you want to go, sir? Oh, two. Two? We need something that ice is super effective against. Thirty? What was behind number 30? That was the steel. No, ice is not super effective against steel. All right. This is the last question of the round. Mr. Mike, you're in danger, and it's a speller. Here we go. E, I, P, R, E, T, 
A, Jacob, Caterpie. And that ends the round. It's impossible for you to hatch up at this point, Mr. Mike. Good job, Jacob. You and Ryuta are through to the next round. Good job. <laughs> Mr. Mike, sorry it didn't work out for you, but did you have a good time on the show? All right, thanks so much. Give it up for Mr. Mike. We're going to round two. Right after we have this. Stay tuned. Move into round number two. We can put those away for the time being. Round number two is the evolution match. Okay. And to explain that, first of all, we need control. Now, as this is round two, we now add Gen 2 Pokemon into the mix. Okay. So, for control of the board, buzz in when you can name this normal type. It marks its territory by using its tail like a paintbrush. There are Al. Smeargle. Smeargle is right. You have control. I know you've seen this one before, but for those of us who haven't, here's how it works. Pictures of Pokemon now hide between the, behind the 30 numbers. They all appear with an evolutionary chain, and they all touch. So, for example, if we were hiding a Charmander behind number 10, there would be a Charmeleon or a Charizard behind 4, 9, 11, or 16, and then the third member of the chain would also touch, making either a straight line or an L shape. There are only two and three chains on the board, no Eevees, because we can't be here all day. <laughs> so you're going to open one of those doors, try to find all the Pokemon within the chain. If you do, you capture all of them. As you know, there's something else on the board as well. If you find Team Rocket and you have captured any Pokemon at all, they will steal one. However, this guy can help you. If you find Pikachu on the board somewhere and then make a match, Pikachu will join you and save you one time from Team Rocket because they can't catch him. Is that at the time Pikachu, Pikachu, and Raichu? No. Once Pikachu is up there by himself. You just have to make, and you can go anywhere else on the board you want if you find Pikachu first. Okay. You just have to find Pikachu while making a match somewhere else. All right? Where would you like to begin, Al? Number two. Number two. All right. We need a Munchlax, and there's three possible locations. Number one. Number one, is he there? He is not, and you, oh boy, now we know where something is. Okay. All right, so someone's about to score two Pokemon, thanks to Magikarp. Um, all right, players, here we go. Get ready to buzz in, players, and name any Pokemon that you can think of whose name begins with the letter G. Al is in. Gloom. Gloom is good. Score your two. You got it. Wow. <laughs> All right, that's two for you. Close and lock. And as you can see, as Pokemon come off the board, other patterns become available. However, be careful, Team Rocket could be literally anywhere on that board. I turned up my volume. I was wondering what that noise was. All right, <laughs> spelling time again, players. Remember, Gen 1 or Gen 2. And here we go. G, I'm starting over because I messed up. All right. <laughs> E U G O R Y T. <laughs> Audience says Tyrogue. Tyrogue. I forgot about that. I forgot the name was. Let's try again, shall we? I thought that was like a later gen Pokemon. No. Let's try again, shall we? U Y R A T S. Ryuta. Star you? That's it. All right. Where would you like? You can build off of that Snorlax if you want, or you can go somewhere else. Two. All right. 50 50 chance of finding Munchlax. Go with eight. All right. Is Munchlax there? Yep, he sure is. Good job. Woo! Audience has lost interest in the game, but that's okay. Uh, we shall somehow carry on. All right. Fingers on buzzers, players. Buzz in when you can name this water type. It is small, but rough and tough. It won't hesitate to take a bite out of anything that moves. And Al says... Totodile. Totodile's right. Yes, good job, sir. Where are you going? Ten. Number ten. Ah, there is one spoon. Okay. Where are you going? Sixteen. Sixteen. Mm, there is no spoon. All right. Seventeen. Seventeen. 
There's a Blastoise for some reason. Okay, that doesn't quite fit the chain, but there you go. Remember where you saw all of those? And this time players buzz in and name any Pokemon you can think of. Who is a dual type where one of the types is flying? Jacob Charizard. Yes, of course. No! Our favorite Pokemon. I, to say, I think we were all going to say the same thing. Yes! <laughs> How do you want to play it, Jacob? 16. All right, going that route. 10. We know that's right. 4. Is it there? No. Oh. But it's a good thing you didn't have any Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Could have been a Pikachu right. too, you never know. Alright players, spelling time once again, our favorite game. Oh, you guys are doing a pretty good job considering. Here we go. M O P I A. Jacob. A palm. A palm is correct. How do you want to play it? 16. Uh-huh. And 11. Uh, you were about to say 4, and I was about to go, it's still not right! <laughs> All right. What is hiding behind number 11? It is yes. the Alakazam, yes. and you wow. are in the lead! <laughs> All right. Polite applause this time from the audience. Okay, we move on. There's a very tempting number there, but remember, Rocket could be there as well. All right. Players buzz in this time when you can name this normal type. With its ability to distinguish any aroma, it unfailingly finds all food buried deep underground. This is a straight normal type. It is the final Pokemon in its evolutionary chain. It is the Hibernator Pokemon. Ow. Snorlax? Incorrect. Jacob or Ryuta? That's all the clues you get, Jacob. Ursaring? That's the right answer, yes. Oh. Ursaring is who we were after. I forgot about that. Where would you like to go? <laughs> 18. 18. Mm hmm Hey, look! <laughs> <laughs> um, 24. Hey, look! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> wow! Jacob, you now have what I like to call rocket insurance. Even if you find a rocket, rocket square, you're still one away from going through the next round with your five. All right, fingers on buzzers, players. It is time for you to buzz in and name any Pokemon that you can think of whose name ends with the letter P. Ow. Hit on top is the right answer. Okay, where are you going? 15. 15, everyone's avoiding something that might be obvious, okay? All right, there is Kingdra. Wow. Nine. Well, I hope it. Oh! No! Oh. oh, man! Oh, Al, I'm sorry. That's going to cost you one. I, so. We know we're three of them are now. Yeah, we do. All right, so important on the buzzer, and it's a speller. Here we go. Remember, Gen 1 or Gen 2? R O Z I. C. Jacob. Scizor. Scizor is right. Go ahead and go through the next round. 22. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, Al knows the mistake that Jacob made, and he's not saying a thing. All right, here we go. Here we go. Buzz in players when you can name this ice type. It carries food rolled up in its tail. It has the habit of sharing food with people lost in mountains. And Jacob Delibird? is right. Yes. No. Now, Jacob, do you see? 17. Okay. Okay, we know where one is. 23. And we should know where the other one is. 29. You got it. You're through the next round. Good job. Now, I will present our two remaining players with a temptation, because there's a number all by itself right there. It could be Pikachu, it could be a rocket. Pick at your own risk, and here we go. We will continue, and again, when you hear that sound effect, that means time's running out and we go to sudden death. But for now, uh, buzz in, name any Pokemon that you can think of, who is a dual type, 
One of the types is dark. Ryuta. Umbreon. Umbreon is a straight dark type. Sorry. Al. Gyarados? No. What did you say? The buzzer I said Gyarados. Yeah, you could have said like Hound Dower's one, Hound Doom Hound is one. Drapion. Yeah, Drapion. Uh, the, the, I was thinking about Pokemon Noob move, move Bites. Yeah, there you go. There's several you could have named. Okay, uh, so we move on. Players, fingers on buzzers. Name any Pokemon you can think of whose name begins with the letter W. Ow. Weeping Bell. That's one. Okay. You want to take the chance, or do you want 13. to go somewhere else? What's that? Thirteen. Thirteen. Not taking the chance. Ghastly. Nineteen. Nineteen. Haunter. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Gengar. Just like that. Woo! Oops, I credited the wrong person there. Okay. Three for you, Al. <laughs> All right, Rudy, you need to get in the game. Time could be running out here very soon. Here we go. Spelling. Here we go. D E O T I Al. Polytoad. Polytoad is correct. Find another match. You're through to the next round. 21. 21. Mm hmm. 15. Mm hmm. Fourteen? Oh! oh come on! Oh. Thank you, Team Rock. Give me one day, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that sound means we're in sudden death. Only three questions remain in this round. The first, buzz in when you can name this dark type. It feeds on eggs stolen from nests. Its sharply hooked claws rip vulnerable spots on prey. Ryuta. I will continue. Al, you don't need to buzz in. Just wait until I stop talking and then give me an answer. You've heard the dex entry. This is a dual type, dark and ice. It is the first Pokemon in its evolutionary chain. It is the shark claw Pokemon. What do we have? Uh, Audience, Sneasel is the right answer. Oh, oh why? <laughs> All right. Question two in sudden death. Players, fingers on buzzers. Buzz in. Name any Pokemon you can think of whose name ends with letter Y. Ryuta. Starmie. No. Chansey. Chansey is right. Starmie is ends in an IE. Starlee would end with a Y and oh. would be correct. But okay. Al? 27. 27. 26. 26. Oh, come on! Oh! Thank you, Team Rocket! <laughs> All right. This is the final question of the round. It's a speller. Let's see what happens. Backwards it goes. Y. R, O, M, R, A, K, S. Ow. You're in. Now, find a rocket, Ryuta moves on. Find a chain, you move on to the next round. Fail at either, and we have a tiebreaker question. 28. 28. And you're through to the next round. Good job. Woo! Okay. Did I break a record with me picking rockets? No, someone's done it more. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. You did it the hard way, but you did I'm it now. I'm sure 30 did have a Ryuta, I'm sorry to say that means we have to say goodbye to you, but thank you so much for being on Pokemon Game Show. Woo! We'll find out who's going to face the champion right after this. Stay tuned. We are down to two. We have Jacob. We have Al. At the end of this round, we will know.
who is going to win free admission to next year's Anime Zing, and who will get to face the champion. But who do you have to face before you face the champion? Elite Four. The Elite Four. You've seen this game before. This is the Elite Four round. Players are going to be battling against the Elite Four members. And let's see how it happens. Now, two things happen with the questions. First and foremost, Gen 3 gets added into the mix. Secondly, we're only doing dex entries from here on out, okay? So keeping that in mind, for control of the round, buzz in when you can name this now fairy type. If its horns capture the warm feelings of people or Pokemon, its body warms up slightly. Dual type, psychic fairy. Jacob. Curlia. Incorrect. I'll keep going. When I stop, just give me an answer. Psychic Fairy. It is the first Pokemon in its evolutionary chain. It is the feeling Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, I always get this one. Too. Jacob, you got caught in the evolution there. We wanted Ralts for that. Ralts. I, I always Ralts. capture it too. What was it? Ralts. Huh? It was Ralts. Here we go. Buzz in when you can name this ghost type. It hides in the darkness of caves. Its diet of gems has transformed its eyes into gem, and Jacob says, Sableye. Sableye is the right answer. All right. You now have the right to face the first Elite Four member. It's Malva. Malva has two Pokemon. Pyroar, Fire and Normal. Talonflame, Fire and Flying. We now have the names of moves behind the 30 numbers. First, you have to find a move that's super effective against Pyroar. Then you have to find a move that's super effective against Talonflame, in that order. And they don't touch. We had that come up last thing. They don't have to. You can go anywhere on the board for any move. If you find those moves in that order, you defeat Malva, you and Al will go back and forth until someone is successful and we move on to the next question. I ask you, do you want to go first or second? You can have Al go first if you want. First. Okay, you're going to go first. Move for Pyroar. Fourteen. Fourteen. Ancient power is super effective against Pyroar. Talonflame. Ten. Thunder Punch is super effective against Talonflame. Wow. 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 All right, Jacob taking the reins himself. You've defeated one. Whoever defeats the most Elite Four members wins the game and the badge and has a chance to become the champion. All right, back to the deck entries. Players, buzz in when you can name this ground type. Said to have expanded the lands by evaporating Jacob Groudon. Groudon is correct. Okay. All right. Okay. You now have control of the second Elite Four battle. It is Seabold. Seabold has Barbarical, Water and Rock, Giardos, Water and Flying. Again, the board is completely an unknown, so you have the option, first or second. First. Take the law into his own hands again. Barbarical. 30. Did you say 30? Yeah. Rock slide not super effective. Al, it's a break for you. 16. Bulldoze is super effective. Giardos. Um, two. Okay. You miss. Jacob, take us home. 16. Yep. And 30. That's what you should have done there, Al. Rock is do is super effective. And Jacob has us. defeated Seabold. Okay. All right. Yeah, you got to be careful there. And I've had situations where both players just sat there and went back and forth without anyone realizing it. The audience starts to turn against you when you do that. Okay. Al, as you've seen this game many times before, you know that you have to tie it up in order to force a fateful encounter to decide the game, all right? Jacob, one more win, and you are the winner, all right? Here we go. Players, buzz in, and you can name this dragon type. It flies gracefully through the sky. Jacob. Altaria. Holy crap, how did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Sometimes they study up on their Pokedexes before the show begins. All right, that gives you the right against Wickstrom. Wickstrom has Provo Pass, Steel and Rock, Aegislash, 
Steel and Ghost. First or second? First. All right, for the win. 25. First, 25. Brick Break is super effective against Probo Pass. Uh, for the win, Aegislash. 21. 21. Power Gem is not super effective against Aegislash. Al. 25. 25. 11. Okay. 11. Close combat, not super effective. Jacob, you want to mix it up? 25. No, says Jacob. <laughs> you could totally have done that. Aegislash for the win. 8. Number eight. No, and again with the fighting. Al? We can fight the fighting so. 25. Okay. <laughs> 18. Okay, what's there? Surf. No, not super Ooh. effective. So Jacob. <laughs> and? 29. 29 for the win. Ooh. No, Volt Tackle won't do it. Back to Al. 25. 25. <laughs> <laughs> Get comfortable. This could go on a while. Uh, one. Oh, that's where you should have gone in the first place. Earth power. Yes. Super oh. effective. Oh. Oh. All right. This is not over yet. Jeez. Here we go. For control of the final Elite Four battle. Buzz in, you can name this ground type. The ultrasonic waves it generates by rubbing its two wings together cause severe headaches. This is a dual type, ground and dragon. Vibrava. Ow. Vibrava is correct. All right. Let's see how opening up this board does against Drasna. Drasna has Altaria, dragon and flying. <laughs> he knows like the person next to me knows like back to sand. Dragon and flying, drag algae, dragon and poison. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first this time. All right, Altaria. Eight. Eight. Uh, you're thinking of something that's not super effective, is what you're yeah. thinking of. Jacob. Four. Waterfall, not super effective. Back to Al. 17? 17. You miss. Back to Jacob. 13. Dig, not super effective. Doesn't even effect. Al. 15. Rollout, super effective. To tie the match, drag algae. Two. You miss. I picked that one before, didn't I? Jacob for the win. 15. Altaria. And, and Drag Algae. 13. And you've done it. That is correct. Uh, and you are the winner of Pokemon Game Show. Congratulations. <laughs> You made it up here. It didn't work out for you. Thank you so much for being on Pokemon Game Show. One more round of applause for Al. And that means that, Jacob, you have won free admission to next year's Anime Zing. So congratulations. You're our winner. Now, you've got to face the champion. All right? So, Jacob, let me introduce you to the current, and this will be their last time as champion because of what's happening later on this year. Sun and moon. But right now it's Deantha. All right. Deantha has three Pokemon, and here are their silhouettes. You'll be fighting them in a moment. In the last round, you defeated three trainers. You used three theoretical Pokemon to do that. And all the moves on that board are known by your theoretical Pokemon. Some of those moves are super effective against Deanthas. If you find one, it's a one-hit KO. You find a move that's not super effective, it does one HP of damage. The Anthus Pokemon all have four HP. There are seven squares on the board that say KO. Those represent Deantha knocking out one of your three Pokemon. You defeat all of Deantha's Pokemon before she defeats all of yours, you become the champion, and assuming I come back to next year's Anime Zing, any trainer sprite you want to provide, we stick in that left window, any three Pokemon you want, we stick in that window. And whoever plays this game show next year 
is going to try to defeat you as champion. If you fail, then whoever the champion is in Sun and Moon will take the Anthos place. All right? Sound good? All right. Yes, it's just picking numbers, which is why I kick it up a notch with this. <laughs> All right, the first Pokemon is Gorgeist. Best of luck, nice and loud, so I can hear it over the music. 25. 25. Rock Blast, not super effective. One HP of damage, continue. 30. Number 30. Roll out, not super effective. Good news, you don't have to keep picking 30 over and over and over again. Continue. Number 6. Giga Drain, not super effective. One more. One. Number one. Signal Beam does the damage, and you have defeated your first Pokemon. The next Pokemon is Gardevoir. Best of luck. Eighteen. Eighteen. KO. All right. You both are down to two. Where do you go next? Thirteen. Thirteen. Thunder Punch, not super effective. One HP of damage. Continue. 17. Bolt Tackle, not super effective. Continue. Nine. Surf, not super effective. One more. 12. 12? You said 12? 12. Another KO. Oh. All right. Jacob, Jacob, you are down to your last Pokemon. What no? 24. 20 what? 24. 24. Was I that evil to put three of them in a row? Ice Beam, not super effective, but it does the job, and you have defeated Gardevoir. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is Deanna is down to her last Pokemon, and it's Kudra. The bad news is you just knocked out one of the moves that's super effective, so you may wind up having to do this the hard way. Best of luck. 20. Number 20. Hex. Oh, that would have been super effective against the other two. Not so much for Gudra. Continue. Three. Number three. U-turn. Not super effective. Halfway there. 27. 27. Thunder, this is it, the last pick of the game. <laughs> Number eight, for the win. You did it! You did it. And, and this is an historic moment on Pokemon Game Show. You are the first champion to have gotten that way on 12 moves. No one has ever done it before that way. It's the most difficult way to win the game, and you did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Jacob, let me show you the rest of the board just so you can see what you narrowly avoided. <laughs> Was a, yeah, you went around the little trap that was dug for you there. You can see there are three ghosts, two steals, and two ices to counter the seven KOs. Doesn't matter though, you are the champion of Anime Zing Pokemon Game Show. Congratulations to you, sir. Do you have any idea of now? Now, as next year will be after Sun and Moon, you're allowed to choose Sun and Moon Pokemon if you wish. I have a feeling I know what one of them is going to be. Uh, and you're allowed to pick Megas too, so you totally can go that route. The only thing is, you can't choose a Pokemon with no weaknesses, so Electros is right out. Spiritomb. Spiritomb has Fairy. Now, yeah, that's, oh. that's fine. Uh, and the three Pokemon that you pick combined can't have a situation like you have one that's normal and one that's Ghost, for example, because then fighting couldn't touch the Ghost Pokemon. So, otherwise, I'll have to make all your Pokemon scrappy, which I've had to do before because I didn't catch the mistake. But anyway, you're going to win free admission to next year's Zing. 
you'll be able to sit in that audience and wait until your time has come to try to defend your championship. Once again, congratulations, our new champion, Jacob, from Pokemon Game Show. How do you feel? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> audience, thanks for sticking around to the end. Did you have a good time here? Woo! If you want to see it, all you got to do is subscribe on YouTube. This this is guaranteed to go up. I'm obligated to do one video per AnimeCons.org convention, and I think this one's going to do the job. So you'll get to see it. Just uh, Grego's Game Shows on the Facebook, on the YouTube, on the everything. Be like Al. We like Al. Al is a loyal friend and true of Grego's Game Shows. So again, thank you. Tomorrow I'll be right back in this room doing Password with Chuck Huber and John Stocker. If you want to play, there is a tryout. Check the schedule. It's correct for the rest of the weekend for me. But if you want to be on Password, we'll see you then for the tryout. See you for the game. Until then, YouTube, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Until then, this is Greg over Pokemon Game Show, and bye for now. Yeah.